Hey Cheryl, um, Robert here at the property uh, to do the tour. Uh, I figured I'd start out here again just to give you an idea uh, to what the street looks like and the houses on the street. So the other property we looked at was just down at the end there and to the left. Um, so just a few houses now, so we're basically in the same area. Um, the surrounding houses look nice. They're all older style houses. Um, and this is the one we're looking at. So the driveway, you can fit about probably four cars. It uh, doesn't have a garage. Uh, a lot of these older homes don't have a garage. And the ones that do have a garage, um, like that one over there, it's just a matter of time before someone comes and closes it for the additional square footage, uh, which is what happened here, right? So this room here uh, in front of my car, it used to be a garage, right? Driveway. So so that's, that's kind of the deal in this neighborhood. So so let's take a look i already walked through it you have this nice tree up here in the front for shade um the house looks i mean you know it looks like someone bought it and just you know completely renovated it and just flipped it right you have all new impact uh windows uh here through the back we'll kind of go through the back in a little bit but they put new pavers so you have new pavers on the side and in the back uh you have impact windows which is good to have um, I believe, I'm not sure if this one, I, I know both of the ones that you sent me, um, the roof and the AC were either just a couple years old or brand new. So I think this one was 2022, not 100% sure. I'll double check. But either way, you know that you have a, a newer roof. So you have new light fixtures, new windows, new paint, it looks like. So this one is smaller, um, but I mean, I think for, you know, a short term rental, this is perfectly fine um you know it, it's it's broken up really well i mean you can have a little uh round dining table there uh, which is looks like you know what it used to be used for and then here you have this huge area i want to say huge i mean it's a nice dedicated area for a tv you know you have the connections for the tv there um then you have an outlet here i can see a really nice sectional here with a tv mounted on the wall there and then you have all this counter space for for stools, uh, for bar stools, right? Uh, on vacation, I imagine everybody's gonna kind of just hang out here and it's a nice open space, right? You have everything nice and open. And then you have a split floor plan. And let me not skip this little storage space here as you walk in. You have a nice size uh, storage and closet here. You can put some beach chairs. Um, you can put some more beach chairs. I don't know what else you can put in there, but and there's no coats here in Florida, right? Um, so here you have a, the bedroom towards the front, which probably used to be the um, the master, just because it's such a such a bigger room. You have a ton of windows. Uh, they did a really nice job with the finishes in here. I mean, you have a nice modern baseboard. You have casing um, on the bottom of the window sills. Um, and the floors are beautiful. I love, I love these floors. Uh, it's kind of what's in, nice and bright. You have new fans. Let's check out this closet. It's just a nice long closet. Let's see what else. Here you have uh, the AC, which looks like it was installed. I'm not 100% sure, I'll confirm, but it does look newer. Here you have a little linen closet and then you have the bathroom right this is the guest bathroom for the two bedrooms on this side um it's not a huge bathroom but it's everything you need right you have a a tub um a toilet and a vanity so this would be a smaller room um this room's pretty small but i mean you can fit a bed in here you can put a couple of bunk beds in here depending on what you're doing um what approach you're gonna take whether it's short-term turnkey where they just come and and bring their luggage and that's it or if you're gonna rent it annually um but yeah this could be a kid's room i mean you could put a, a couple of uh, twin beds in here um and yeah all right so walking to this side of the house so this leads outside which we'll leave for last um, the kitchen is really well done. It's, it's nice, nice and open. I actually ha have, happen to have the same stove. It's a higher end Samsung, uh, but it's nice because it doesn't have a back to it. So it works really well for islands. Um, the cabinets look well done, soft, soft closed drawers. 
Um, the counter is man-made, but it's nice. Uh, I have something similar like this to my house in my house, just because of how durable it is. Um, here you have the refrigerator, and then this would be the pantry, right? So this would act as a as a pantry. Then you have the kitchen sink here, overlooking the backyard, and then through the kitchen you have the master bedroom, right? So this used to be the garage. That's it's it's kind of the telltale signs are you know the washer and dryer in here. You have the electrical panel in here, and then you have a tankless water heater, which is nice. Uh, this would be the master uh, bathroom, which is also really nice. I mean, it's not huge, but again, for a short-term rental, this is pretty much all you need uh, for someone to be comfortable. And it's nice to have the split floor plan. In here, um, it's a decent-sized room. I mean, it used to be a one-car garage, right? So, you know, you can definitely put a king-size bed with two nightstands here on this wall. Uh, and then this would be the closet, not huge, but again, for short term, not a big deal. Um, and then you have a window facing the front and you have an LED light going crazy, but that's an easy fix. And that's where we're at. So let's head to the backyard, which is probably the nicest thing. Um, as far as, I mean, you know, uh, short term rentals and, and making the property look like a, like a vacation home. So you have, so you have this screened in area, which is nice because you can hang out at night. You don't have to worry about bugs. Uh, you have the AC right here, but you can, you know, plant some trees or a little fence around it to hide that. Um, this fan is pretty low. <laughs> it's pretty low. So you might want to get rid of that fan just for the sake of liability. Nobody, you know, gets whacked. I mean, this is pretty low, um, but you can get rid of the fan just for the light. Um, let's see. But these are the new pavers that they installed. And then coming out here, these are the new pavers and some landscaping that they kind of um, put in. And this is what I showed you in the beginning of the video. And then you have a huge yard, right? So if you ever wanted to put a pool, you can. I'm not sure if that's something, you know, that makes sense um, for you. And I imagine this is uh, an investment property. Um, maybe when prices of pools come down a bit, but you, you definitely have room for the pool. But in the meantime, you have this great outdoor living space, right? You know, you have a little fire pit already put in place, um, which is great uh, for nighttime, right? Uh, you have some little twinkly lights here. Um, oh, look, they already have twinkly lights in here. You're set. Um, but you can always add some more. Um, you know, a, a little hot tub would be great here. Um, then you have just a, a ton of outdoor space, right? You know, you can close in the fence for a little bit more privacy, but the fence is already up, right? All across. Sorry, I hope that doesn't make you dizzy. All across, and then here in the front, you just have to kind of close it off. Um, so it wouldn't be a huge expense. And then just, just a, some landscaping is really the main focus of this house because everything else is ready to go. Um, just some nice landscaping to dress it up, um, maybe furnish the place, uh, something that we can help you guys with. And, and I think that's it. There's nothing else I think to show really. This is the same area as before. You know, we're close to uh, downtown, the beaches. It's kind of a straight shot from here. Um, across the street, I mean, you have million dollar uh, homes uh, in Grey Oaks, uh, the country club there. And just in general, I mean, we're really in the center of it all. Um, so the location is great. So that's the house. Uh, I'll send this over to you, take a look, and let me know. All right, talk soon, bye.